Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card I'm really excited for. It is a pet pick a card. So I'm going to be channeling messages for any pets that you have. Um, well, I like to just call them my, my little furry friends, but whatever you like to call them. For the video, we're just going to say pets. But um, I wanted to really bring messages through from any animals that you have um, in your family or around you right now because I've noticed a lot in the last couple of pick a cards, um, animals and pets have been coming through quite strongly and giving messages. So I, I thought, why don't I just dedicate an entire video to, um, you know, messages from any animals and pets you have around you right now because i don't know i felt like they needed they needed a voice they needed to bring messages through so i'm really excited um and as far as the objects as you guys know i have four cats and i think it was about six months ago it was actually quite funny i had a dream where i was doing a pick a cat so i had all my four cats lined up and i was like pile one is jasper pile two is veda and i and i was doing that but i know that i could not do that for a video because they would just not have any of it and you know they show up when they want so i thought that i would pick out their favorite toys um and you guys could choose from that instead <laughs> um because i would not have been able to get all four of them for you guys to choose so um i have four objects for you guys to choose from pile number one is jasper's ball pile number two is luna's mouse she loves this mouse, that's why it's a little bit dirty because she carries it everywhere. Pile number three is Padme's pig. I've sat it up back here so it can stay up and you can see it, but that's Padme's pig. And pile number four is, this is one of Jasper's toys, not Jasper, Vader's toys. Um, every toy that Vader loves, he ends up chewing it to pieces and pulling the stuffing out. So I had to choose one that he doesn't use all that often. Um, because the other ones were just very tatted and kind of ruined so that's what we have for pile number four so see which object which toy you are drawn to the timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual and i'll see you guys at your timestamp hey pal one welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at messages from your pets from your furry friends your animal friends so you guys chose the ball jasper's ball i'm gonna start with tarot and then we're gonna move into the oracle cards the minute i press play padme ran into the room and jumped up on my jewelry box so padme is present she's gonna help bring the messages through so let's get in so pile number one please spirit guides pile number one tap me into the collective of pile number ones Tap me into the collective of pile number ones. A lot of this pile may be asking about a dog. Um, just because it's a dog that was shown to me. It doesn't have to be. It's just that's just the image I was just shown. Like a dog came through quite strongly. Um, pile number one. Pile number one, please, for guys. Messages from pile number ones. Pets. I also want to say if you do have a animal in spirit because i forgot to say that in the intro this can totally um be used to bring messages through from that pet as well from what i've seen doing these readings pets usually stick around with us long after they pass um and a lot of times they end up being part of your spirit team or work as a spirit guide for you are just around you a lot so um if you are watching this for a pet that's passed over that can um that can also pertain to the reading too. Um, pile number one. I don't know why I'm being taken to like one of the right legs. So whichever pet that it is, I don't know if you've had trouble with this pet with something to do with the right leg. Um, or if this pet passed over, there's like something. I just keep being shown the leg. Um, I know sometimes when pets get older, they can get like arthritis and stuff. So um, that's what I was just feeling. Pile number one, please, for it, guys. Pile number one. Whoever this pet is, they're referencing you like the apple of that eye. Like specifically you. You know when you have like animals and they'll imprint on somebody in the family there's this feeling of like your 
this pet's person. Like, you're their person. Pile number one. Messages from pile number ones. We have the Queen of Wands. Pile number one. Messages from pile number ones. Pets. We have the Ten of Swords. Pile number one. We have the Six of Cups reversed. There's actually a dog in this. Um, in this one, it's reversed. This could be a pet that you're reminiscing on. Um, it could be a pet from childhood. That you had through childhood. That's coming through. Five of Wands. I almost feel for a lot of you guys, the pet that's coming through may have passed over. Uh, the back of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. Okay. Um, this pet is almost referencing shifts that would have taken place or endings that would have taken place. And it's almost, how do, okay, let me put this in the words. So seeing that you had this pet from childhood, you had this pet for a really long time. I almost feel like this pet was here to transition you through a certain period. So even if you got this pet in your teens and it transitioned you into your 20s, there's almost this feeling of coming of age with this pet. Like it's watching you grow um, and watching you come into yourself and grow into yourself and evolve. You know, when you have, um, you know, when you're young and you like mark how tall you are on a wall and then you, you keep growing they're almost referencing something like that but that, that i think they're meaning that symbolism in the sense of they've watched you grow from like it could even be that they watched you grow from somebody that uh was very uh because i keep being shown my emotions and then i'm like a jellyfish and i'm being taken for a ride like everything feels very erratic in my life and it's like i'm watching you grow into stability um, because that's how this pet's coming through. It's almost like they watched the transition. Um, and there's a reference that if this pet has already passed over, they are still walking you through any transitions that you're going through now. And they constantly will. It's like I'm still walking with you through the pathways that you're at now because there's almost this feeling of like a lot has changed and I'm reminiscing over the past when you were with me when I was young. And I wish you were here to see where I am now. And that's why there's this message like, oh, I see it, I'm still here. Like, I'm still transitioning with you. Like, when I used to sit with you, when you'd be emotional and cry, I still sit with you when you're emotional and cry. When you needed, like, a friend and you needed somebody there and you needed that comfort. I, I keep being shown dogs because I'm being shown a paw going into my hand. That it's like, I'm still here. Like, spiritually, I'm still here, you know? And... If this is a pet that you're watching from, this pet's still here. For a lot of you guys, I feel like this pet had passed. But if this pet is still here, they're literally just referencing how they have watched you evolve, watched you change, watched you go through so many cycles. And it's like, I'm here and I'm always going to be here. Even when it's time for me to, to, to move on, I'm still going to be around. Because it, it's like, you, you know when you say like, friend for life? That's kind of like how it's coming through. Like, friend for life. Um... This pet feels very eager. This pet feels very, I don't know. I feel like I'm full of life. Like uh, there's just like a lot of joy within me. Like I'm, I don't know why I keep referencing memories. Like the, there's memories and I, like, I almost feel like I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I, I don't know whether I'm being put in the brain of like a pet, but it's almost like I'm sitting there and I'm recalling memories and the memories feel very vibrant and full of joy and they keep wanting to reference like a lot of joyful memories with you because I almost feel I don't know if there's like guilt or like feelings of I didn't take them out as much as I was supposed to or I would have wanted to or I, I didn't do all of these fun things as much as I would have wanted to but they're referencing the most simplest things and they're bringing it up full of joy like if there were memories where you did take them places or you did play with them they're referencing that with joy but I'm almost I'm also being shown like little simple things that you wouldn't have even thought I see this pet just like feeling full of joy like I see somebody sat on a sofa and putting a film on I don't know if somebody's pet used to watch the tv 
um because it's like i'm watching and i'm getting excited and i'm watching the screen and the colors but it's like i feel full of joy because i'm next to you like i'm with you like you just being around you being where i'm at like i feel i feel very joyous and i think that's why i was getting apple of my eye sort of thing um that sort of feeling because there's just so much love for you they're almost looking at you as like a sibling if that makes sense like they're looking at you as like a sibling it, it's almost like pack mentality or like pride mentality or whatever sort of animal this was because it's like you know when you see animals and they're in like a they're from the same litter um and they're like that they're like siblings so they're like part of that they're almost seeing you as that so they're not looking at you as an owner they're not looking at you as even a parent really it's like no this is this is my tribe like this is part of me this is like you know when in the wild when lions when they go and eat food or they do their business they usually move together to like protect each other i just keep seeing this pet like i have to move when you move because i'm looking after you like i see this pet following you to the toilet following you to sleep like for like following you around because it's like where you go i go sort of thing it's it's actually really really beautiful but they're seeing you as like a sibling like part of the pride that's how they're seeing you but there's such a strong reference on um with this ten of swords and the six of swords reversed it i i don't this is why i feel like this pack could have passed away because there's this feeling of grievance um of having to let go it could be that this pet this pet is with you currently physically and they're helping you release and let go and grieve um the past if you've been transitioning through something energetically if you've been doing shadow work if you've been letting go of you know parts of your childhood and, and moving on and you could be letting go of a relationship but it's almost like this pet's transitioning you through that right now if this pet has passed on i feel like they're helping you grieve and release because there's almost this feeling of this pet being connected to a time period that you are releasing and they're still around you helping you release that and walking with you to release that because there's a lot of nostalgia coming through my heart chakra feels like i'm releasing and purging a lot and i keep being shown like again it's like a paw going into my hands like we're in this together i'm walking with you like i'm walking with you through this thing um why do we have the five of wands i'm gonna pull oracle cards in a sec but i want to know why we have i keep being shown orange i don't know if orange is like a significant color um when i think of orange i think of my friend um which is funny my friend just texted me as well uh, my friend sam he always says to me about oranges he's like if you sniff an orange if you have an orange it's like an antidepressant and it makes you feel good and when i opened up to this pile i saw orange but i thought it would come through later but the fact that i was thinking that and then sam messaged me it's making me think of that because i almost feel like they looked at you like th there's so much joy like when, when i'm looking at you like that it's like there's joy here when i'm in their energy it's joy i feel really excited like i feel really happy and they keep referencing you being happy and them feeling really happy and experiencing that with you like there's this there's this feeling of this pet wanting you to be happy and wanting to bring you there because i almost feel like sometimes this pet whether they're still with you physically or it happens energetically I do feel like this pet, um, they take on some of your baggage, specifically emotionally, because the sacral chakra is tied in with the emotions and it, it's the color orange. I feel like they do take on a lot and help you grieve and, and release a lot um, because there's this strong feeling of them wanting to see you. I keep being shown you dancing and you guys having fun and laughing and I almost see this pet like wanting to join in or just feeling ecstatic through that so it's almost like they're referencing an image of that or an energy of that and it's like we're gonna get you there so I don't know if you've had a hard time recently or you've been feeling really low recently but this pet is almost working with you and helping you transmute to get you to that point where you see a life full of color because when you look at this ball it's very colorful um, and this pet's wanting you to see a life full of color and, and be in that energy which is why there's that transitional energy that I'm picking up in the middle um because it's almost like if you, if you see with this five of wands um they're walking up and then there's like a flame and sun at the top um so that's kind of what they're referencing they're trying to bring you and lift you up to get you there so whether they're still with you in the physical or if they have crossed over that's I almost feel like that's my mission right now. That's what I'm focused on. That's my earthly mission right now. We're going to get, you know, my pal and bones singing again. We're going to get my pal and bones dancing again. We're going to get my pal and bones feeling vibrant again. Because they look at you as this queen of wands. Um, could be a cat. Because um, you've got the little cat here. That cat always reminds me of my cat, Veda. Because it's got the green eyes. Like Veda. Um, 
but yeah they're referencing referencing that they see you like that they see you as somebody that's very vibrant naturally and very full of joy naturally and just very full of life naturally and it's like they're wanting to have you step into that again and i almost want to say reclaim your power so this part is coming through that's my mission right now i'm guiding them and walking them through that and um, to reach that point which could be that you know trans that um energy of transformation and maybe that's why with the six of cups reversed if they are still here in the physical they're thinking of moments where you were feeling very vibrant and they want to bring that back you know the sun's just come out if you can see on the camera um so they're wanting to bring that back i love when nature just steps in and adds to the reading um but the sun just shone through and i feel like that's a confirmation um they wanted to bring you right back there and this scene i'm being shown i've referenced it in in pick a cards before but it's coming up it's the moana scene when moana gives the heart back to defeaty and obviously defeaty was having her land kind of like destroyed she had her heart taken away from her and she turns into this really kind of like aggressive monster and it's looked at like she's this demon but in actuality she's in pain and grieving because her heart's been taken away and obviously Moana walks through the ocean and she hands their heart back to Defeaty and she says they have stolen the heart from inside you but this does not define you this is not who you are who you truly are and when she hands the heart back all of the lava and the fire kind of falls away and Defeaty comes back and she's like this beautiful mother nature you know goddess and she restores the land because she has her heart back so I almost feel your pets looking at their mission on earth right now as bringing you back to that and i feel like they're guiding you through what feels like some difficult emotions because i feel like you're coming to the end of something um so again whether this pet is in the physical or in spirit that's how they're looking at your their mission with you right now that's how they're looking at it. it's like we're gonna get you where you need to go you know it's like we're in this together sort of thing i keep being shown a paw in somebody's hand um but obviously if you, you know you're watching this and you know that that's a horse or a fish just use the symbol symbolism like a hoof in your hand or a fin in your hand or whatever animal that you have um but yeah i'm gonna pull some oracle cards now there's just this feeling from this pet like so loyal and it's like there's no two ways about it this is my friend like this is my sibling this is a part of me this is my tribe like that's how they're coming through so it wouldn't shock me if this pet was probably part of your soul tribe and came through energetically that way because th there's no it's just matter of fact so to even say pet it's just like what <laughs> like this I, I feel like when with this pet in your life I feel like you would probably say this as well they didn't act like oh this is a pet like they probably acted very human and was like yeah this is i'm not a pet don't try and treat me like that like i am this is my house you know i'm here like this is my couch this is the tv programs i watch this is you know this is my home you know and i i see you almost bringing people into the home or introducing um somebody to this pet and it's like they've got to go through me first let me just analyze and double check and if this pet has passed over it's like oh i'm still gonna be doing that by the way like i'm still gonna be sussing that out i'm actually gonna because i'm here in spirit it's like i'm gonna call the higher selves in and i'll be sussing that out don't worry about that i'm still here i'm still gonna be doing that so there's a reference of that but i see with this pet in the physical as well for those of you that this pet's still on earth it's like oh i'm st I, I i'm i'm not letting anyone come in and unless they they respect me <laughs> and respect my person and respect the pride and respect the wolf pack like that's kind of how it feels um pile number i'm hearing that song we are family you know the song we are family i've got all my sisters with me i'm hearing that it's quite funny um they really keep referencing you as this beautiful bright fiery light and it's like I keep wanting to say we're gonna get you back there we're gonna get you back there i feel very focused on that pile number and the sun come out again as i said that pile number one messages from pile number ones we have oh we have you are never alone you are never alone. I love that. I'm just going to get one more card from this deck and then I'll channel them. One more card. Pet. Message from Paranormal Women's Pet. 
Oh, we have two actually. We have Dragonfly Spirit, Truth Transcends Illusion. Um, we've had uh, three of them that came out. And we also have the Butterfly Spirit, Transformation is Beautiful. Like I was saying, I felt, I really did feel like there's some sort of transition or you're purging something or there's a, you know, there's alchemizing going on in your heart space or um, I would say heart, your, your emotional center, I would say. Um, there's a clearing going out, which I feel may be making you feel like the sky is kind of like gray, like things may be, you know, you might not be feeling too excited about life right now. Um, the back of the deck is the antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Um, okay, art of spirit, you are never alone. This is why I do feel like for some of you guys, you're asking for a pet that passed away because with you are never alone and it coming through with a heart and the dragonfly, I always you know, reference the dragonfly as our connection to spirit, our ancestors, um, and our spirit guides. And with those two cards coming out, and then with the butterfly, which is like transforming from the physical to the spiritual, there's like a reference of like, I'm still here. Might not be physically here, but I'm still here and you're not alone. Because I keep being shown somebody, if, if it is your pet that's passed over, um, I keep being shown somebody grieving and crying and being emotional and this pet's still there. Like, I'm here. And I actually see some of you guys are quite clairvoyant and you may even see their face when you're crying, sometimes randomly. Or you may be falling asleep and you have a glimpse of their face just in your mind's eye, just a glimpse. And it's them showing, like, I'm here, I am here. Um... For some of you guys, I feel like they accompany you in dreams as well. Because if this pet used to sleep... Okay, if this pet's passed over and they used to sleep um, with you at night, um, they used to protect you when you went to sleep, but they still protect you in your dreams now. Like, they're still there. If this pet's still in the physical, they sleep with you at night and they walk with you in dream state. So they may show up in dream state a lot. Um because they're with you at night it's almost like energetically i'm with you so that's what i'm picking up as well like even when i'm physically here i'm also energetically working behind the scenes too even if you know your pet's still here it's like energetically i'm still walking with you i'm still clearing i'm still helping you transmute this because there's a strong reference of this this pet helping you clear heavy energies and helping you move heavy energies and like i see a pet with you currently physically and um like in the physical now like those of you that your pet's still with you and it's almost like to you they're just sitting there and they're just sitting maybe on the couch or on the bed or whatever with you but like energetically they're helping you move things um because i see sometimes you may sit there and just feel really emotional and you don't know why and it's because there's energy being moved and i see this pet almost sitting with you and they could just be looking like they're fast asleep but energetically they're helping you purge and move things throughout you know um which is really 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 beautiful so let's pull your final cards pile number one messages from pile number one's pets please pile number one's um pets we have the octopus practice shape-shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms you get one more card there's a big reference because they keep referencing you as a child to start doing things that made you feel good from the past like that almost referencing remember when you used to do this and it made you feel good remember when you used to do this and it made you feel good they're almost wanting you to get up on your feet and do those things because they're saying it's going to bring that joy that joy back um and like i said they're really focused on getting you there so again because i was being shown dancing so i don't know if you used to dance a lot i don't know if you did that as like a hobby or it's just something that you did maybe you used to sing a lot maybe you used to um i used to act out i used to like do acting like i used to act from like movie scenes and stuff you could have done that um i'm being shown somebody playing like a video game from when they were young um i don't know the game i just see yellow on it i don't know what that game would be let me know I'm hearing Crash Bandicoot. I don't know if somebody used to play that. Um, I used to play Shrek. I, I had a Shrek game on my Game Boy, but I'm seeing somebody play something there's yellow in it, and then I'm hearing Crash Bandicoot, so I don't know. Um, but they're referencing that. It's like doing things that make you feel fun and bring the sun back into your life. They're wanting you to do it. Um, pile number. I'm also being shown cross-stitching. I don't know if somebody used to do cross-stitching. We have rattlesnake 
the experience in that your prize the experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer interesting maybe some of you guys have gone through a dark night of the soul or a shadow period um the back of the deck we have penguin oh we have the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing yeah okay do you know what's interesting about that card being at the back of the deck when you think of something like and it's, it's turned into ice um when it starts to melt and the sun comes up you have to go through that period of a lot of water coming from it like that that ice turns into water and that there's a whole period of that i'm being told that you've passed the ice stage like you passed the ice age um and the ice is melting now and you're coming to terms with emotions which is why maybe it's been a bit heavy for you and i think that's what that helping you know you focus through um but once all of that is gone um because the sun's kind of like melting it, I feel like you're going to feel, it's like what was under the ice is going to be rediscovered. And I feel like not only are you going to rediscover things from childhood that made you feel good, but I think you're also going to rediscover new parts of yourselves that are connected to your higher self and your true purpose, especially with the rattlesnake, um, fulfilling your purpose as a healer. It's like shed in the skin. So I feel like there's something peeling back to have you, because um, I'm thinking of like ar archaeologists and I I'm being shown somebody in a lab, like cutting through like years worth of stone to find like a necklace or a fossil or something like that so it's almost like something's going to be revealed and they're helping you work through it until you activate that or that comes to you because something's almost being revealed um or coming through but right now you may just feel a bit low which is part of the process but like i said that's what they're walking with you through right now um and that's why we have the shape-shifting card, the octopus. Practice shape-shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms because it's almost like they're wanting you. There's almost this feeling of seeing you in a rut and it's like, I want you to sing, I want you to dance, like doing things that make you feel good. They're, they're like, you deserve to make yourself feel good. You deserve to move your body and enjoy life and they're wanting you to do that. Um, they keep referencing a time when you did it and they're wanting you to do it again and I see them walking with you Um to get that and I, I think they may send because I keep thinking of the butterfly there I saw butterflies earlier on but I just thought oh, well it's just tran transformational energy that's why it's coming through but maybe they're sending butterflies to you um maybe you've been seeing a lot of butterflies so in physical they're letting me know oh but by the way they've been seeing butterflies because they're transforming but if this pet isn't with you um it might have been them sending you butterflies to let you know that there's like a metamorphosis that's been taking place um yeah and i keep hearing that song by arnie the sun will come out i don't know if you listen to arnie um but i keep hearing that the lyrics to that it's almost like your pet's sending that to you the sun will come out tomorrow bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun um I can't remember the rest of the lyrics. It's like, you're only a day away. I don't know. Listen to those lyrics and see if something comes up for you because it's the song that they're wanting to send. The sun will come out by Annie. Um, but yeah, pile number one, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that I was able to um, be a good voice for your pets to come through. I really hope I was able to bring the messages that you needed. Um, if this resonated with you, hit the thumbs up and comment down below. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey part two, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what message and guidance your pets have for you right now. Um, I didn't mention it in the intro, so I wanted to say now, if you are watching for a pet that's passed over, um, that's okay too. The messages will still come through. I actually found with pile number one, there was a strong reference of pets that had passed over. So um, just to let you know when we cross when our pets may cross over um a lot of the times physically they still walk with us um and they still help us clear and a lot of the times they can come on and be a guide to us or be part of our spirit team so um if you're watching for a pet that has passed over it's just as much of an importance as you know a pet that's still here physically so i'll still be giving a voice there just to let you guys know that um so we have Luna's mouse that you guys chose. 
So I'm going to get straight in. So pile number two, please. Some of you guys may be asking about a rabbit just because my rabbit might like just kind of caught my eye there. Pile number two. And Padme's here. Um, my cat Padme. And I always call her my little rabbit because she's tiny. And I always call her, I say Padme's my little rabbit. Um, so yeah and there's a significance about rabbits here or you could have a rabbit and this pet loves the rabbit it's just something that's coming through it doesn't matter if it doesn't resonate pile number you know when you see those images or videos of dogs on social media and they jump in tall grass i'm being shown that so you could have a dog that like hops there's something about jumping and, and bouncing about Maybe they love going on the trampoline. <laughs> um, pile number two. Messages from pile number twos. Pets. I feel like this pet likes to cuddle. They're really emphasizing that. Um, I don't know if you guys naturally are quite warm, but there's almost this feeling of like huddling into you and they like your warmth. They could be spiritually or energetically, just their reference in your energy is very healing to them, but there's this warmth. I feel very safe. Um, and I know some pets don't like to cuddle, but there's this strong emphasis coming through here of like, well, I love to. <laughs> um, pile number... Pile number two. Messages from pile number two's pet. Messages from pile number two's pets. I don't know, some of them have a red toy. I'm being shown like a red toy. It's almost like I want to show you. It's like if I came into your home, this pet would be like, look what I have. Look what I have. This is my person. Look what I have. It's kind of how it's coming through. Pile number two. Messages from pile number two's pets. Four of swords. What's interesting is this looks like a string with like a hat on it there and I was being shown something red like a toy or something. So I don't know if they have a toy like that or something but that's what I'm being shown but that's the four of swords. Um, one more card please. Messages from pile number fours. Pets, we have the page of wands as well. And the back of the deck we have the fool you know um <laughs> you know what there's a tiktok sound and it's like i'm just a baby like it talks like this like i'm just a baby and i keep hearing that because i without a doubt feel like this pet feels that they're your child because it's like i'm nestling in and you feel warm and it's like i'm part of you like this pet would not believe it's a pet they would think that they were your child i feel that they believe that they are your baby like even if you have other pets there's this feeling from this 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 animal of like but i'm not like them because i'm not a pet i don't know like there's a strong feeling like a headstrong feeling of like i'm not i i, I don't know the word pet i don't know what you're talking about i am pile number two's child like that's how it's coming through so i don't know if you've had them um recently and they're still a baby or they just reference themselves like that you may like nurture them a lot and baby them a lot because that's how they're coming through it's just like i'm i'm the child i'm the baby i've, I've got to be looked after um i also feel like this pet comes through and lets you know that they're here like this pet comes through i they may be very loud they may bark a lot um they may just do a lot of things to get attention um they, there's also this feeling of like i don't know if this pet loves um or this animal because i don't even want to say pet but like i don't know if they i kind of want to say this baby <laughs> but i don't know if they love other people but there's almost this feeling of like there's always this feeling of like everyone's gonna love me everyone's gonna love me and it, I, I almost see like if you bring people to the home and they might not like like say it's a cat and you, they don't like cats or they don't like dogs there's this feeling of this pet being like they love me they love me and then it's like no well, i'll make them love me then and i, I keep seeing this, this this pet going up into people's faces and trying to get attention because it's like 
why aren't you loving me why aren't you giving me attention why aren't you stalking me you know why aren't you fussing over me there is a strong feeling of that from this part like i need love like why are you not giving it to me that's kind of what i'm picking up um this part as well feels very connected to you emotionally uh very very strongly because with the tie of like the red coming through because the girl's got a red top on and then it's like all the way here in the nest and then it's um connected to the heart i feel like the way this part's coming through um i feel like part of their mission being here is to help you i don't know if you had a pet that passed away um, they might have come to help you grieve and release that and open up your heart again. Um, that's almost kind of a part of the mission of why this, this pet's here. Because even with the moon and we've got one wolf on one side and one wolf on the other side, there may be a direct link from this pet to another pet. So this pet could have been sent by a pet that passed away. Because look here as well, it's, it's like there's two. So I'm being shown like one world and another world with this. So I don't know if you were grieving over a pet and then this pet just found its way to you. Um, but there's almost a direct link from this pet coming through and then a pet energetically. Because I keep being shown whispers in the ear in a way of they like it when you do this, they like it when you do that sort of thing. But it's almost like energetic. So I keep being shown a pet in spirit. And it could be that you have like a pet in spirit that's like a dog, but this is a rabbit. Or you have a pet in spirit that's like a cat and this is a dog. But I keep being shown energetically this pet stood behind you and it's like part of your spirit team. And then there's this physical pet here and they're taking like nudges through. Like they're crying, you need a cuddle. And then there's this direct feeling connected to your heart space. Because like, I keep feeling connected to the heart space. Like I'm seeing you grieving. Or maybe I'm seeing like a release. Or I'm seeing something happening. And then it's almost like I need to nest with you. So I almost feel like this patch shows up. It's like I can feel... They feel very clairsentiently connected to you. Because it's like I'm about to cry. And then this pet's running, running to you. But it, this, I, I keep being shown this pet getting intuitive nudges. Like psychic, like... It's, it's almost like I'm hearing something, but I'm, the way I'm being given it, it's like instructions being downloaded. So like, like, like that. and there's a pet behind in the spirit, in this in spirit. And it could even be a pet from childhood, like a pet that maybe passed away when you were really young and now you're in your like thirties and this pet has come, but there's almost like intuitive nudges, like, right, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do that. Um, but it could be that this pet passed recently and it, they're sending, it's like they sent this 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 animal through this animal is like coming through like i'm the baby i'm the baby like i'm you know and it's funny that you chose luna's mouse because luna is my youngest cat so um it's quite interesting that you chose that one because that's how this pet's coming through like i'm the baby um i keep wanting to snuggle with you at night like i keep wanting to come into the covers and snuggle with you i keep wanting to like cuddle into you like i keep wanting to you to like crawl into your arms i like i'm being shown somebody sitting at, at like a dinner table eating and then this pet coming between the legs it's like wanting to feel your warmth and i mean warmth of your heart space warmth of your energy i feel like you and this pet have an emotional link a psychic link like an energetic link because it's like heart to heart um yeah that's really strongly really really strongly coming through and it's like almost mess it's when i look at this moon card it's like messages being passed on but you don't see it because it's like two different sides with the two wolves and then the moon in the middle and it's like i'm passing messages through to my person and from um from spirit it feels which makes me feel like there's a pet in spirit bringing messages through um, I want to give a voice to the pet in spirit, if that's the case. So I want to pull two cards. Because look at the fool here as well. It's like walking on a new path. So it's almost like there was a pet with you through a significant part of your life. And this other pet's come in to walk with you moving forward. So can you... I want to give a voice to the pet that might have passed or the pet from the past. Um... Can you give me any messages? Um, we have the Nine of Swords. 
Do you know what's interesting about that with the Nine of Swords? All of the black crows are there above the girl crying, but there's one just white outline as if it's like angelic, which is quite interesting. I'm going to put two more, um, two more down. Let me just move my cup. I have my cup on my windowsill and Padme wants to sit in the window. Um, can you help me give advice to the pet in spirit? What messages they have to bring through? We have the Knight of Wands. I'm hearing, there's a, I don't know the actual song, but there's like a lyric on a TikTok sound and it's like, go little rock star. And I just shared that. I don't know what song it's from because I've never really listened to it. But um, yeah, we have Page of Cups as well here as well. Um, and the back of the deck, we have um, the High Priestess, the back of the deck. So this pet, I feel, actually sends you messages a lot. If you work with spirit, they may actually work as like, when I say work, I feel like they might be a bit of a gatekeeper. All souls have a gatekeeper that protects our energies, especially when we're channeling from spirit. And it basically allows us to, um, basically is like stood at the guard and waiting for souls to like, if souls want to bring a message through what can kind of come through sort of thing there's almost this gatekeeper -y feeling from this particular pet but i do feel like this 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 pet that's crossed over um i do feel that they actually connect with you when you connect with spirit so a lot of you guys may connect with spirit um they may be part of your spirit team or you know your, they could even be a spirit guide that came through in the physical um there's also but, but they're almost referencing like they're connecting to you energetically. They they keep referencing this pet with you in the physical. It's connected to them. So I don't know if that's like they've maybe come through and incarnated again. Or it could just be that this other pet that's, you know, incarnated with you. They're also part of your spirit team. And they're kind of bringing those messages through. Because it's almost like when I need to bring the messages through energetically, I connect with you here. But when I need something to happen in the physical and I'm not there, I connect with you through here. And that's where I'm being shown this other pet. I keep being shown a really excited little puppy. Um, and it's almost like I'm sending little intuitive nudges. So this pet's really around you. This pet's coming through as an elder. This pet feels very, because the way it's coming through, it's soft and it's um, it's very peaceful. Um, so this this pet, when it, it was in your life, um, they may, let me just check what part Sorry, I thought Pat, uh, Padme was trying to eat something, but there's nothing that she can eat, so I don't have to panic. When this when this pet would have been in your life, there's almost this very, very calming feeling. Like, this pet would have been very different to the pet you have now. This pet feels very calm. Um, it's almost like I'm sat back and I'm observing. And I keep being shown that when this pet was in your life, um, they would have stared at you a lot. Like, I keep being shown them staring at you. Like, I'm thinking of a cat just staring. Um, and I keep being shown to you, they're just staring at you. And they may even look like they have a bit of a moody face. But behind, I'm being shown a really big smile. So I see, like, a really big smile and then lots of love. So it's almost like they're looking at you in the kind of adoration and there's a lot of love. And then I'm being shown, like, a protective layer around you. So, like, if somebody was to send you something or somebody was sending evil light, it was like they were energetically around protecting you. But you just saw them staring at you, you know? Um, but they were really protecting you there. They're saying they still do that in the physical, so they're still around protecting you there. Because it's almost a feeling like, that's my job. Like... You called me in to do that when you incarnated. That's my job. There's so much love here. Um, and they keep referencing that they're part of your soul tribe because we have... Um, Patties, what are you doing? Um, let me just move my flowers because I feel like she's going to knock them over. Um, with this dove being in spirit here while the other doves are like very presently there, they're almost referencing that they're still part of your tribe now, even if they're not physically there. And if you can see the green, which green is connected to the heart chakra, it almost is making me feel like I'm sending messages to whoever is around you in the physical, whatever pets you have in the physical to continue that job. I'm still here. There's a strong, strong feeling of that. Um, why do we have the Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups? I think it's more so, again, referencing energetically and emotionally. 
I'm still here. I'm still guiding you. I'm still helping you transmute. There's so much love here. I almost want to cloak you. There's almost a mothery feeling. Um, it's a very divine, feminine, motherly feeling. Um, but it's like when I need to get you up in the physical, I'm calling on, you know, this pet that we were talking about in the beginning that feels like they're your child. Um, and that's what comes here because the, the way the pet in the physical then is coming through, there's so much energy bursting. Um, and I think it's because this pet's very clairsentient and picks up on a lot. Um, and I feel like I'm taking on a lot and I'm full of energy and I'm excited and, you know, I like, this is my mission. Like, this is my time to shine. That's kind of how this, this energy kind of feels. I also want to say as well, this pet in the physical sees this pet in spirit. Um, like, say now this is the only pet you have. This pet isn't referencing like they're the only pet. They're referencing that they're the baby. So say now this is the only pet that you have in the physical. To this pet, it's like, and the one in spirit, like, that's here too. Because it, it, it's like, they may see that pet around the house. So, like, if this is a little puppy, I see them barking at nothing. Um, it's almost like I'm trying to communicate with the pet that's passed over, but physically. Um, because I keep being shown that they're very aware of the presence of the other pet. Really strongly. Um, yeah. Really, really strongly. They feel like it's part of the family, part of the tribe still um because it's like i'm seeing that pet around or coming through um but th what's interesting is they're not referencing it like a pet like they're not referencing it like an animal so i almost feel like this pet that comes through and shows themselves to this pet doesn't come through as a pet to them this pet that passed over it shows itself to the pet and the physical as a person it's coming through as a person um because they're almost seeing it. I'm watching, I'm literally, I feel like I'm watching somebody around and they've been here since I came here, but I don't see them as how you would see them as the pet that passed over. I'm seeing them as a person, but it's the same energy. I hope that brings you comfort that this, this um, pet that passed over is still around as part of your tribe. Because to the, to the pet in the physical, the one that feels like they're your baby, it's like, oh, they've always been around. That's, you know, that's the guy. Like, that's the one that gives me intuitive nudges. Like, they, they see it as part of part of the family, which is quite interesting the way I'm looking at it. Honestly, the, the pet that's with you in the physical, I feel like I'm channeling a child. I don't feel like I'm channeling um, an animal or anything like that. It, it feels like I'm, I'm just a baby. Like, that's how it's coming through. Like joyous i feel full of joy so full of joy i also feel like the pet in the physical is going to be part of having you open up to because sometimes when a pet passes away like I remember my grandmother saying, because her pet passed away, um, her cat passed away last year. And I said, why don't you get, you know, another, another cat? Um, because it was a cat that passed away. And she was like, no, it's too upset. And when they pass away, and I was like, it is, because I, I lost, um, my, well, I've lost a, a dog and a, and a cat. And it is awful when they pass away. But if we live our life not opening up to love again and opening up to that excitement again because we're scared we're going to lose it we're not opening up to new experiences we're not feeling that joy and i almost feel like this pet in the physical is coming through to have you realize that like if you would have just shut off your heart when the other pet would have passed away you wouldn't have me and you wouldn't have that joy and you wouldn't have that light so I almost feel like this this animal that's with you now in the physical, I feel like they're helping you see um, why opening up, you know, after maybe heartache and loss is beautiful because we're here to experience that love. And it's, it's you know, that saying like it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. Is There's a feeling of that coming through. And I feel like that's what this this animal in the in the physical is kind of coming through to help you with and help you understand the preciousness of um the present moment and loving what you have in the present moment and loving just to love and have the experience of that i feel like that's what this 
um, this annual is coming through to show you, you know, the annual and the physical. That's what I'm getting with the Page of Wands um, and open you up to new possibilities as well. Uh, maybe in your everyday life, in relationships or friendships or... Um, yeah, pile number two, messages from pile number twos. We have the turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. I'm going to pull three of these. I was only going to pull two, but for pile number one, um, three came out. So I'm going to pull three here. Pile number two, please, spirit guides. Messages from pile number two is pets. Yeah, both of these pets are coming through together. The one in the spirit, the one in the physical. Are coming through together porcupine spirit time for a beginner mind there's a strong reference that when this pet depart pat when this pet departed um and when the new one came in it was two different journeys um so it was two different frequencies that were needed um to be around you and i feel like you transitioned from one journey to the other because i'm thinking of the turtles in nemo where they're swimming through the currents um so that's what I'm being shown with time for a beginner mind. There's this fresh energy with this other pet in the physical that's come through now because they're helping you open up to new possibilities. So I feel like um, there was an energetic transition. Yeah. Pile number two. One more card from this deck. Messages from pile number twos. Um, we have love is all around. That's beautiful. Lots of green here. Like I said, strong connection to the heart chakra. Um, this part in the physical is very connected to your heart space and your emotions. Like if you're going through something, I feel like this part will show up. It reminds me of Veda. Not long ago, I remember crying. I was in my work room and I don't know where Veda was at the time. It was downstairs somewhere and I was crying and I was just transmuting some energy. Um, and I was sitting on the floor by my table and then out of nowhere, Veda just ran as if he was like looking for me he just ran up into the room and veda acts like a dog a lot like veda will give loads of kisses and lay on his back for like gloves and veda would not get off my lap and he was just kissing and kissing and kissing and kissing me um and wouldn't leave me be and i feel like that type of connection you have with this pet like this pet feels like oh my person's crying and he's a go or it's even like my person feels funny. I want to join in. Like, there's almost, like, four more <laughs> that this pet in the physical has. It's, like, what you have, I have. Like, that sort of thing. Um, I also see this pet wanting the same food that you have. Like, you're eating and this pet's, like, almost like, and they didn't give me a plate. The audacity. You know, and it could be food that they can't eat. Like, I know dogs can't eat chocolate. So you could be eating chocolate and you don't give it to them. And it's, like, oh, my God. I cannot believe that they're eating this chocolate and not giving me how dare they like there's a feeling of that coming through from this pet in the physical it's like i um i should have what you have they almost feel righteous to that like i should be eating what you eat i should be at the dinner table when you are um and i i do feel they feel very excited when they're included so if you you may already do it but i would say to include them sometimes like so, you know you're eating something and you, it's a food that they can eat maybe just having a little plate and sitting it next because there's this feeling of wanting to enjoy and join in when you do that um like when you have your meals it's almost like i want to have meals with you too you may already do it so they're referencing they love that but if you don't i feel like that would make them very happy because it's like yeah i'm part of you like that's how they feel um 100 um I also want to say with the slow and steady wins the race with the turtle spirit um if it was the case of you um going through a transition when one pet may have crossed over and another pet came in um when there's a tower moment and there's a transition we have to make room for things to shift so if you feel like you haven't got everything together or you felt like you haven't had everything together or people have more than what you have in this time frame um there's a reference of like slow and steady wins the race you're on your own path don't compare yourself to other people around you especially if you've been clearing things purging things releasing things and letting go um that's a strong message and that's more so coming through from um the animal it's in spirit stop comparing yourself to where other people are you've already done so much um yeah 
because with a six and a two adding up to eight I'm thinking of like in numerology eight is um, ruled by Saturn so I think you've been moving slow and taking your time with something building something of substance while also working on things you know internally as well and I think it might have been heavy for you at times um, and that's what I'm being referenced with here so let's pull your final cards messages from pile number two i want to say pets because there's two here there's literally two animals coming through um somebody's if i keep being shown fish like i'm being shown somebody staring at fish or trying to get at fish so somebody could have had a fish tank and i see an animal trying to get the fish um i've actually seen um you can get these tiny little pools and these electronic fish that you put in the water and apparently dogs and cats love playing with them i've seen them i was thinking of getting one so um thought i'd pass that on to you guys if you do have animals that would love that um pile number two we have mouse you're overlooking some important details so pay closer attention to what's going on and one more card messages from pile number two's pets we have the octopus card practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms on the back of the deck we have the polar bear stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcome uh, i just shared my voice as my power as i put that card down um why do we have that at the back of the deck I do think this pet as well, the pet and the physical, they feel very bold. Um, there is a message from them because I almost feel they're coming in at a time where you're activating parts of you. Um, and I think maybe one of those parts could be setting firm boundaries with people or standing up for yourself or saying what you feel in the moment and it being empowered by your voice. Um, I don't know if this pet, because there's this feeling of this pet in the physical being quite loud. So I don't know if they back a lot. If they're a cat, they could meow a lot. If they're like a hamster, they could like jump around the cage and make a lot of noise. I know hamsters do that and it can be quite noisy. Um, there's a feeling of this, I'm hearing a horse neighing, so it could be a horse that's very loud. Um, I feel like that's what they're guiding and helping you with. You showing up, you claiming space, you taking up space, you being vibrant, you showing up like that. Because I almost feel like this pet shows up like that, this pet in the physical. And I feel like that helping you welcoming that in. Um, so there's a message from them. I don't know if maybe you've had to quiet your voice recently or you've felt the need to hide away or dim your light. I feel like they're here to help you stand and stand your ground and, and, and you know, project your voice out and let your needs be heard like that. Because that's how this pet's kind of coming through. I feel like they're helping you embody that. Padme is just laying in the sun. So sweet. Such a sweet little angel. Um, and then with the mouse card, you're overlooking some important details. So pay close attention to what's going on. What's that about? You're overlooking some important details. So play, so pay closer attention. Sorry for the noise outside, guys. To what's going on. This pet as well in the physical, that um part of that kind of like journey with you is to bring you into the physical and be aware of the physical world so this pet could be a little bit naughty um it's reminding me of like jasper jasper will like um to give an example uh jasper will just he'll be like right in front of you and then he'll start knocking little things off the table onto the floor and they'll just kind of look at you like ha look what i just did i almost feel like this pet may do that and move things in the physical and do things to get your attention it's to draw you into the physical so pay attention when this pet in the physical is moving things or being naughty because they're trying to make you aware of something or that you may you may find you're in your mind a lot so you may be overthinking or just be just allowing your brain to take you somewhere or you know it's, it's to the point that it may not be that good for you this is when this pet will show up so pay attention when this pet shows up because i feel like that's um there's a reason for when they do that and then with octopus practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms again there's this reference of like show up show up as your true form um 
speak your mind let people see you that's what this pet is helping you step into they're embodying that energy so you um tailor to that frequency as well and embody that energy too that's what this pet um is coming through as and like i said from the beginning this pet does not want to be called a pet this is your child i have to say this to end the reading like that's how they're coming through they refuse to believe that they've incarnated as a pet. This is this is a child. They want to eat the same time as you. They want to watch the same TV. You may find that you'll sit down and watch TV and they'll mimic you. You may find you want to go in the bath and they'll come in, come into the bathroom. Um, I remember one time I was running my bath. It was Luna. I was running my bath and I left the, the bathroom a second. Um, and Luna likes to follow me about anyway, but I, I'd she'd stayed in the bathroom and I can't remember what I was going to go grab but when I came back into the bath I have my bath to the left and my sinks <laughs> to the right Luna was sitting in the sink because she knows I sit in the bath so she went and sat in the sink I was like why are you there and she's just sitting there literally in the sink next to the taps just looking as if like that's your bath this is mine um so I'm being shown something similar to that like they could follow you mimic things that you do like this is my bed um i sleep here this is it's not your bed it's our bed it's not your food that's our food I keep being shown someone tapping your fork like trying to get food from you so um yeah this this animal your baby truly believes that they are human to be honest with you um yeah so pile number two that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed the reading do want to say as well the animal in spirit is still very much with you guiding you they feel like a guide very protective of you um and you can call to them for guidance too because they are with you strongly uh yeah so like i said um thank you guys for watching if this resonated hit the thumbs up and comment down below uh, if you enjoyed um and yeah i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Hey Pal 3, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at messages and guidance from your pets and I'm just going to be being the voice for your pets to bring through any guidance and messages through. Um, so you guys chose Padme's Pink Pig. Padme's actually with us, she's sitting on the windowsill basking in the sun um just looking out the window so she's right by the side of me so she's gonna be well she's been here since the beginning so she's gonna be bringing um uh, messages through with us so yeah let's get in so pile number three please spirit guides pile number three tap me into the collective of my pile number threes what messages to pile number threes pets have for you right now strong crown chakra energy um like a direct link to spirit that's how this energy is coming through um it's the way this pet's coming through they're reminding me of Caroline, the cat that was protecting Caroline when she walked through both worlds when she walked through her world and then the other world with the other mother the you know the world where she was in danger um and when she was in that other world there it was a cat and it, it would talk to her so that's how this pet's almost coming through so they're referencing that they're a protector um they're coming through as a guide for you um and it, it's always different with pets they don't always come through necessarily as a guide they can come through as you know a best friend to give you support they can come through to teach you certain lessons to help you activate certain energy but the way that this pet is coming through it it's fully like i'm a guide i'm here to watch over in you um especially when you may be in vulnerable states like you could be asleep um it's almost like i'm watching over the physical body so this pet could sleep with you um i just see them observing and, and watching over you pile number three i also feel like this pet sends you healing energy because i keep being shown the crown chakra and it's like energy coming through from the higher chakras into the physical and i keep almost being shown them directing energy it almost feels like they're coming through somewhat as a shaman um and they're almost directing energy to you and sending energy to you that you may need uh i also feel like this pet may sleep over certain chakras when you are maybe purging or clearing and i feel like that's their way of um 
send an energy to you and activate it and also taking on energy that's like kind of debris uh i i definitely see that 100 percent. it's like i'm walking with you in the physical this way uh which is really really beautiful they almost feel kind of like a healer to you um very much watching over you it's reminding me of i don't know if you've ever watched twitches if you have and it was a movie on disney where there was these two twins that were separated at birth but they were from a different world and they had psychic powers and they both had guides there was a male and female guide and um yeah basically they used to follow them around and kind of watch from afar and guide them and protect them and protect them from any forces and that's how this pet is coming through kind of like that like the cat from Coraline um like in Spirited Away with Chihiro when she goes to the spirit world and oh what's his name Kazu he's like a dragon he's like half dragon and he says he knew her from when she was young. Was it Kazu? Let me know the name of the guy in Spirited Away that looks after Shihiro when she's in the spirit world. Because um, he morphs into a dragon. But that's how this pet's coming through. That's how they're referencing you. Pile number three. Pile number three. You may do heavy lifting. They're referencing it like heavy lifting in this life. I almost want to just channel it. I almost don't want to put cards down. I will, but it's just all coming through. Um, you may work with spirit in this life. You may connect with spirit in this life. Um, you may pass, you know, you may have cleared a lot of energy karmically in this life, had a bit of a heavy mission in regards to like purging a lot, clearing a lot, taking a lot on, um, because they're almost referencing that to you. So it's like they're walking with you to protect you because there's a lot going on. Um when you think of Caroline, the stakes were pretty high. When you think of Spirited Away, the stakes were pretty high. Her parents were turned into pigs. She was living in a world full of spirits. She wasn't meant to be there. Stakes were pretty high. So there's almost a feeling of them looking at you like that. Um, let's get some cards down and then I'll continue to channel. Let me just... This pet, it's almost like I'm just downloading information. Um, I do feel this, this pet may be more... Of, like, I am picking up felines, so like cat... Um, it doesn't have to be, it can be a dog as well, but there is this feeling of um, this this pet being a cat because I was shown somebody laying over somebody's chakras. I was being shown like a cat laying over somebody's chakras. It could be a dog too or a rabbit, um, but there's something about this maybe being a cat. Pile number three. Pile number You may have other animals that do this same work with you though because I don't know why. I don't know why I'm being shown a fox. I don't know if you have a fox that lives near where you live um, or a fox that kind of shows up. Um, but there's almost this feeling of like a fox coming through and or if you, I know, especially like in America and stuff, you guys have wolves over there. We don't have wolves in the UK. We have like, you know, um, well, we have foxes. We have, um, where I live, we actually have otters. I'm sure it was otters. Um, I've never seen them, but I know that Vivex is a sign about them. But I know in America, you guys have like wolves and stuff. So you may live in like the wilderness where like, I don't know how wolves show up and stuff. I wish we had wolves here. But um, there's something about that coming through as well. Like wolves are, could be a bear, but there's something about animals outside doing the same thing for you. Um, I've never got too close to a fox. I don't know how that would work. I don't know if, I don't know how they move, but like, I, I just, I'm picking up like another animal coming through. And it's not just one, it's like different. It's like at different times, like I'm seeing like an owl now, like I'm seeing a tree and then an owl. And like for a period of time, it's there. And what I don't realize is that owl is doing the same work and watching over me, but I don't realize it. So there's something about like an animal that would be quote unquote like a a wild animal that would have watched over you too at one specific point that's coming through because i feel like you've had a lot of animals that do this with you they'll kind of watch over you or they're sent to you or it's a guide manifesting into the physical as an animal but let me know where you live and what animal that could be you'll know because there's something that's going to stick out to a lot of you could be a fox, could be, because a fox came through, a wolf came through, a bear and an owl. But it could be anything. It could be a buffalo. 
because I'm literally being shown a buffalo in my mind's eye now. I'm not going to list loads, but there's there's um, an animal that would like be rogue, not an animal that would be um, kept in a home or anything like that. It's rogue. It's just walking around. It's just moving about. Um, there's an animal doing the same thing. Pile number three. Could be a bird, by the way. It could be like a bird in the tree. I have crows by me, but you know, it could be um, like a swan if you have a lake near you or something like that. An eagle. Pile number Pile number three, please, for guides. Messages from pile number three is pet. Oh. It's almost like the cards aren't, like, this isn't how they would communicate with you and this isn't how they communicate. So me getting the cards out, it's like, I'd rather just channel it, but I'm going to put them down because I know you like to see the cards. Let me just get them out. Pile number three. We have the emperor. Pile number three, messages from pile number three's pets. Three of wands. This bed's really quick, you guys. Sorry for the constant, like, noises. Pile number three, messages from pile number three's pets. Ace of wands. Pile number three. The magician. <laughs> Yeah, in the back of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. Love that. Okay. The way that this pet looks at you, I, it, I, I keep being shown, like, they look at things very much through energy. They're referencing you, and then I'm being shown, like, a really light pink energy and lots of white. Um, they're referencing your heart space, they're referencing your heart chakra, um, and they're saying that's where you pull a lot of your energy through. Um, it's almost as if they're, like, your guide, and they're, like, walking me through your energy and, and you know, like your energy and, and your body so it's like they're referencing you like that from an energy perspective first and foremost um and they're saying you pull a lot of energy through your heart space maybe you work through your heart space um you know if you guys work doing like reiki healing um or doing energy work like that i feel like you bring a lot of energy through your heart they're referencing that you also need to pull back into yourself you may find that this pet likes to lay over your heart space um i feel like that's their way of rejuvenating that energy back um because i keep being shown them lay in there um if this pet has passed over i feel like they still do that in spirit so if you you know you're going to sleep at night and you may feel like a feeling over your chest i feel like this pet would still manifest energetically in their physical form like they did when they were incarnated and lay over your heart space there i also i'm showing a lot of energy it's like i'm downloading it from my crown and i'm sending it to you guys through the heart space and i've just realized you picked the pink pig which is padme's pink pig and it's pink which is the color of the heart chakra so that's quite interesting um but i feel like they're constantly topping up your energy they're constantly looking out for you um i feel even in dream state they do that i feel like this pet will walk with you in dream state i feel like they come through as a guide in dream state i feel like even when you guys are doing work on other people you may find like this pet becomes present um and will just kind of sit with you if you are you know talking to people maybe you do like counseling therapy especially if you do it from home or something like that i keep being shown them there or they could even energetically show up so physically Physically, they could be home energetically that they're there but there's this feeling of you guys working with people or having to take on energy from people or maybe you just naturally do that and this pet wanting to be around when you do that or energetically this is the thing it's like when I can't be there um sometimes it's like I'm sending one of my little helpers you know and it's like an eagle's there because I keep being shown somebody in like an office space and like you could be on the phone like dealing with like a bad customer or something if you work in an office because I'm being shown that scenario and then um it's like that pet can energetically feel that's happening but they're not with you they're at home and then you just look to your right and there's a bird just sitting in the window like tap tap tapping and you're like 
Eh? And I feel like that's spirit coming through. Like that's them sending one of their quote unquote little helpers. Like be with them. Like look after them, please. Because uh, I can't be there. And it's like an animal rogue kind of like showing up. I keep being shown that, um, which is quite interesting. I'm also being shown somebody walking through a forest um, and energetically it's like they need you to be home at a specific time or there could be danger or something like that. And it sounds like energetically it's like an animal around you is like, almost walking with you or grabbing your attention to walk a different way um because it's like that's how they're guiding you through that other animal so they're very connect whatever this pet is they're very connected to other animals it's almost like we're all interlinked like energetically which is quite um quite interesting here um i also think that you get a lot of messages spiritually from this pet i feel like they send a lot of messages to you i feel like they um like i'm being shown music you guys um having music sent to you uh ideas with the three of wands here as well of how to move and where to move because i'm being shown somebody sitting in their bedroom and they want to manifest something in or bring something in but they don't understand physically how to do it and this pet is like they're picking up on your thoughts and picking up on your energy and it's like because they can see it from a higher perspective they're going i know how they can do that they need to do x y and z so then it's like they're popping that information into your head why don't you do this why don't you try this this is a cool way to make money to get that why don't you do this so i see them bringing those messages through which is really interesting but i feel like this pet is extremely extremely wise and more of an observer um like i keep being shown this 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 pet just kind of sitting back and observing extremely extremely wise more aware and tapped in than you realize sometimes um and i do think that they have a lot of visions i tend to find animals are super psychic um and this pet's coming through and they're showing me like them getting visions and downloads so it's like they know when something's about to happen before it does so um they may it, it's reminding me of veda specifically my cat veda um he knows when i'm going through something so he'll start getting really clingy before it even happens and then I'll start going through something and he's with me while I'm going through it and it's like he knew that I was about to be releasing something so he'll start being around me and then he'll stay with me until I've kind of passed but he shows up before it happens he always shows up before it happens which is quite interesting um and I feel like this pet may do the same thing where they'll just show up and be really clingy and you don't understand why and then all of a sudden you're grieving and clearing but they saw it before it happens sort of thing I also feel like this pet like you could be pregnant this pet would know and be very connected to you and clingy there um I keep being shown that as well uh which is really really beautiful i feel like they're aware of things beforehand um this pet also may go off on their own um so like they could go out and not come back for like a day um they're fine <laughs> i feel like this pet goes away to go on a bit of a holiday um and just purge any energies that they've taken on so um they could even go somewhere in the home where no one really goes and they like their space they're not doing it because they're fed up they're saying they're not doing it because they want you know like go away i want to be on my own uh they're transmuting energy so it's like i've got a lot of energy that i've just taken on let me be away and clear it let me be a bit of an introvert and then i'll pop back when i'm ready to help again so i feel like they like to have time by themselves to uh process any energies that they're taking on it doesn't mean that they don't want to cuddle it doesn't mean that they're being antisocial. they just um i feel like they take on a lot and they may move a lot of energy through their body so they like to you know step away from time to time to okay or they could sleep a lot they could be quite sleepy um yeah so let's i don't know why the the, the world card was just to the side of me not with the other cards and i don't know why um but if you see this girl and she's got all the colors of the chakras on her dress and she's in the middle of that circle and there's all those geometric shapes um i really do feel like this particular pet helps you clear um and transform energies and and like i said that sophia around you it's almost like they're protecting you constantly and helping revive you if you see the gold at the top um you know messages coming through from spirit so i feel like they help revive you and help clear you and, and and look after you in that way which is really really beautiful um so let's pull some more cards let's pull some oracle cards pile number three. Oh god the card just jumped out in my face 
we have electric eel spirit bring your ideas to life that's what i was saying like i see you guys having thoughts of my ideas of how to bring things to and then this pet just like it brings through these ways to do it like you can do it this way you can do it that way you know you can why don't you do this why don't you do that like some ideas that you have randomly in your head and your pets around they're coming from your pet because i feel like you're very creative and then sometimes you're like how do i bring this into the physical i feel like your pet uh helps you with that i feel pile number three messages from pile number threes pets we have swan spirit time for a deep dive and we had the lizard spirit dream the world into being interesting in the back of the deck you have the hawk spirit let spirit be your guide you have a strong spirit team in this lifetime really guiding you and i think that's why a lot of them come through as animals too because i feel like um you have a lot of support spiritually um especially for like random animals to just be like observing and watching you um and coming through to you for that to happen as well animals operate at the frequency of mother gaia it's it's, it's a very um you know fourth dimensional frequency it's a, it's a very beautiful frequency um when we're connected to source that deep and i feel like you're quite connected to source and your roots quite deeply which is why animals do resonate with you too um because it's almost like animals get you <laughs> uh that's kind of how i feel because i feel like you may feel like animals get you and you, you you feel like you belong with them and i feel they resonate with your frequency there um which is really really beautiful and I also think that you see animals and I think that animals really appreciate you in that way. And I think the pets that you have really appreciate you because sometimes like animals will incarnate and they, they'll be someone's pet, but like they, they may, you know, they'll love the pet, but they might not see all that they are energetically and spiritually. And th there's no, there's never any resentment when I pick that up. Um, however, when a soul can really see an animal for all it is, and it's more than just a pet and it's more so than something just, oh, cute, like, there's so much depth there when you see and you honor mother nature like that or an animal like that there's so much respect because it's like i'm being seen and i see you and that's kind of what this pet is referencing like you really see me like you get me like you understand um because when i was saying about this pet maybe wanting to go away and be on their own sometimes it was almost like you knew because it's feeling of like they know and they get me and i respect that they just leave me be because i keep being shown like them wanting to chill and then they may see you come and it's like oh no they're gonna pick me up and i really need this time to just chill out but then there's this feeling within you energetically of like oh no you're just chilling you're just transmuting energy let me just leave you be a minute and there's like a respect that like oh you thank you you know like thank you for that so that's coming through as like a lot of gratitude that that with time for a deep dive you understand the way they move and they really respect that and have love and even i see i think that's why animals are drawn to you when you're in nature because they see that you respect nature and you respect spirit so there's a reference there even nature it's like you can see that frequency like you respect and honor them and they respect them i think that's why they're drawn to you insects as well um which is really really beautiful and that's how it's coming through um why do we have lizard spirit dream the world into being yeah i think you're gonna make moves and i think that you're here to activate and work with spirit and make a lot of moves in the physical and that, like i said that's why i feel you've got quite a strong tribe in spirit and that's why we have let spirit be our guide with the hawk spirit here because i feel like um there's a lot of things energetically i feel like you get a lot of downloads spiritually and i think that you know sometimes you're like how do i bring this into the physical um and that's why i feel spirit give you those nudges but i do feel like your pets um are giving you those nudges too because they're also getting their messages from spirit and messages from your spirit team as well um final cards for pile number threes animals and pets you really do see animals as part of you and you really do see nature as part of you and it's really respected and it doesn't go um unnoticed pile number three messages from pile number threes i love how they just jumped out so perfectly for me we have cheetah Get clear on your intention, stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal. And then we have the roadrunner, 
keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously um the message i'm getting here is that you guys have a beautiful connection to your inner child and you have a very wondrous way of looking at life um please don't ever feel ashamed of that because that's actually your direct link to your heart space and to bringing creative ideas through and bringing messages from spirit too and it's also your direct link to source um i feel like when you look at life in that wondrous way and that beautiful light way with the vibrancy of those cards um that's your way home and that's how you um connect back to your true nature so whenever you're feeling low and you feel and stagnant you're being called to really nurture your inner child and do things that make you feel um you know things that are very light-hearted come back to a more playful mindset is the message um from this i, I don't want to say pet i i don't really care for the word pet like you, you know your little your friend this is your friend you know what i mean this is your pal this is your tribe that that's how they are you know um but yeah, that's that's a message that they have. They want you to be in that joyous energy. Um, and there's a feeling of wanting you to come out into the world again. I don't know if you've been isolating a bit. I don't know if you've been really stuck in introverted mode because, you know, you feel safe there. But there's a reference of this pet wanting you to get out and fuel yourself that way and have fun and do fun things. Um, yeah, there's, there's a reference of that. Um, like I keep being shown someone going to a park uh and if this is a dog you know bring the dog you know bring um bring them they'd love to come <laughs> uh yeah and the back of the deck you have the bow face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious they keep referencing like they've watched you go through a lot and when you've gone through a lot what's aided you and what's been that sword that's got you through a lot is your beautiful light-heartedness and your connection to source and anything is possible mindset and they want you to fuel that part of yourself right now because that's what helps you get through things and that's your activation um and they're calling for you to really think of what makes you feel like that and do more of it even if at first if you haven't visited it for some time you may not feel anything if you keep doing it there'll be that rupture um, so even if you feel a bit flatlined, they're saying to keep doing that. Um, and uh, they're saying it'll it'll come through. It's almost like retraining your brain, um, especially if you've been doing a lot of inner work. Or even sometimes when we work with energy and we work with spirit, um, if that's what you guys do. Um, or even if you're like a counsellor therapist or you work in like nursing professions and stuff. A lot of people that are drawn to them are healers and they'll take on a lot. And sometimes that can make us feel a little bit drained. Um, so that can be natural, but you're being called to remember to pump, you know, a lot of that good energy back into yourself. Um, the noise you're hearing is Padme. So yeah, that is what I have for you guys, pal three. I really hope that you enjoyed the reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal four, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at messages from your pets. Um, so you guys chose Veda's ball. I wanted to say, because I said it for the other piles, that if you are watching this for a pet that has passed on, the messages are just as valid, um, just because um, you may have a pet that's not here physically currently. Um, when I do these readings, usually the pets that are there in spirit come through just as strong as the ones in the physical as well. Um, they always come through with that same type of frequency so um just know that um i will be bringing through those messages as well if they step forward to come through so um i just wanted to get that underway so let's get in so pile number four pile number four messages and guidance from pile number four's pets any messages from pile number four's pets i initially wanted this reading to be like what does your pet think of you but I just felt like the pets that were coming through, it's like, no, we want to bring messages through. It's, it's more than that. We want to bring guidance through. Like, So I think that's really beautiful. Pile number four. Pile number four's pets. How do they... What messages do they have for my pile number four's? 
I'm hearing like a message to you. So I don't know if this is a dog that's coming through or there's just a reference of it. Like you need to back louder. Like they're referencing like you need to stand your ground more. You need to be louder. You need to show out. You need to, because they're referencing that they're seeing you in all of these colors and there's this brightness and they're like, I want you to show it to the world like that. I want you to show that face to the world. I want you to bring that out. I don't know if you're working on something and you're, you're kind of worried about bringing it out. Like you could be, I'm here, I'm being shown somebody on a computer, like maybe making music or something like that. And it's like, I don't know if I should bring that out. Cause as a pet almost watching and be like, you need to get that out. You need to believe in yourself. Like this, this pet's coming through like a cheerleader. Like you need to, you need to get this out. This is really cool. Like that's how they're coming through. Um, pile number four. I also see that you're really funny and energetically like from a spirit perspective i feel like this pet's like picking up on jokes finding them very humorous and it's like why don't you like say them when you're with your friends or why don't you say them when you're out and about like why don't you show that when you're out you know um pile number four messages from pile number fours pets we have the wheel which is the wheel of fortune I'm hearing that song, I want to break free. Um, does this does this pet try and escape a lot? Um, Cause I keep being shown like, this pet coming through like, I can't be tamed. Like I like to run around and I like to have fun and I like to see things. So there's this feeling of like, if this is a pet that's like, like a hamster and like a, like a kid, it's, it may get out a lot. If I keep being shown a snake trying to get out or um, a rabbit trying to get out of a hutch or, um, you know a cat trying to get outside it's like i want to see the world like it's making me think of beverly hills chihuahua where the dog like goes off on an adventure like that's kind of how it's coming through like i there's a there's an adventure here like i don't want to be stagnant but they're referencing it to you too like they almost want you to embody that like it's like wanting to loosen up the body and like dance and uh, let your energy kind of shine out. It's a message here. Knight of Cups here as well. I didn't realize how many animals were in this deck. Like, they've kind of shown up a lot in this deck. This could be a horse. Uh, we have the six of wands at the back of the deck, which is reversed. This pet keeps this pet feels pretty cool but they're almost wanting me to like reference to you how cool you are they keep like like i keep observing you and it's like all of these cool things about you all of these fun things about you all of these the, the funniness like the jokes that you make like the things that you do it's like they almost wanted you to look in the mirror and see that for yourself um because i keep being shown in canto when Mirabelle, like everybody has a gift and she believes that she doesn't have a gift. It seems that she doesn't have a gift, but she ends up saving the family and it turns out that she did have a gift. And her gift was to um, like protect the family and look after the family and make sure the family were um, connected to each other. And at the end, she's like, like the grandma is like, what, open your eyes, what do you see? And she's like, all of me. And that's how this pet's looking at you. They're almost referencing like, why don't you think you have a gift when you do? You actually have a very important one. Like, why don't you feel like you haven't got something brilliant to say? You actually have so much to say, like so much that pe there's so much that people need to hear and see from you. Like, why are you hiding it away? And that's how this pet's kind of coming through. And I keep being shown them wanting to it's almost like I want to get you out there. Like, if this is a pet and it's like a dog, like, you may be someone that doesn't really care to talk to people much, but then this pet could, like, take you, like, run towards, like, where somebody else has pets and, like, runs around. So you kind of have to be social because there's, like, a feeling of that. Like, um, I wanted, I wanted to get you to, like, open up and I wanted to get you to, like, speak and I wanted you to um, bring these aspects out. And I, ke I keep being shown somebody, like... Um, like sitting down like focusing on something and maybe being in their head and then this animal's like lifting like it's almost like somebody's hands there and my head's going underneath their hand because I'm trying to get them to like kind of get out of their head like they're wanting you to come out of your head and bring things into the physical and they're almost taking over the reading to bring those messages through like I want everyone to see 
how cool you are because I think you're really cool I want everyone to see how vibrant you are like and there's something there has to be something you're working on for them to bring this through very strongly because um especially with the tambourine like music or something like there must be something you have of substance that you're maybe working on that they're like you need to get this out people need to see this you need to be seen um and they keep referencing that because that's something that's coming out and it's almost like they're wanting you to bring it out because it's like the wheel of fortune they're wanting you to bring it into the physical and have those kind of tables turn for you which is quite interesting um pile number four messages from pile number four is pets please um this pet feels like they have a lot of energy like they love to play like this pet loves to play um i almost feel like here to activate you as well um to bring joy into the present moment to bring you it's almost like i'm bringing you on this pet could be naughty they do it to get you on your feet and get like bring you into the physical um that's kind of how they're coming through uh because i keep being shown a little hamster and it's like jumping around the cage at, you know at night and you're just laying there and it's like jumping around and trying to get attention because it's like play have fun play have fun like that's kind of how uh this pet is coming through um I keep being shown a smile. I'm hearing Justin Bieber song, You Smile, I Smile. Because they're almost wanting to bring, they want to see you and it's like, I want to see you enjoy. I want to see you have fun. I want to see, there's this feeling of like, I want to see you with your people. Because I feel like maybe in earlier life, you had maybe a lot of karmic connections with people, people that didn't truly see you, people that, might not have honored you in the best way because they didn't see you and maybe you've had to like go through a period of being on your own and they keep referencing the way people come in and see you is when you bring these aspects out like these parts of you that you're hiding because maybe you felt like people didn't want to see them the way people are going to see you is when you shine that light out people are going to know to follow that light because i'm being shown the shepherds following the star in the sky it's like if that star wasn't shining in the sky they wouldn't have followed it so they're referencing they want th this pet is referencing they want you to shine because it's almost like you're bringing in your people then you're bringing in people that resonate with you on your frequency because you're shining out that frequency so i don't know if maybe you're wanting to bring something online or put something online um or do something that's going to put you in position of people in the public but i feel like um it's going to draw in your tribe because then you're being seen for it and whatever it is you're very good at whatever it is that you know they're wanting you to bring out it could even be just like you just being yourself wearing what you want to wear and heading out and going and you know taking yourself out and um you just being yourself in a, in, a, in the most beautiful way i feel like that's going to draw in the right people or even like you may feel like sometimes you have to perform for people but like naturally you're somebody that warms up nice and slowly and this pet's almost like no move in your way because that's how the right people are going to find you and this pet keeps referencing that right now they're wanting you to shine all of that out They've almost hijacked the reading to be like, this is what I want to bring through. This is the guidance that I want to bring through. They feel very to the point. They feel very like, this is, I feel like, um, they're definitely here as a companion for you and have been for, for like through times when you might not have found companionship with other people, um, because they really see you, but they're saying that there are people out there with that are going to be able to see you like that too the same way you see me and the same way i see you there are people out there that are going to see you deep as deeply um and they're referencing for you to be yourself um and shine that out or put this gift out it's like a gift i have in my hand and it's like they're wanting you to put that out because it's with the six of wands reverse when it's when six of wands is upright it shows the person on the horse and people are cheering them and it's like wow because if you look at it upright this person's on stage and there's people cheering in the crowd but it's it's almost like with it coming in reverse it's like how are they going to know to clap you when you're not on the stage so they're kind of referencing like ignite that fire ignite those aspects of you out um, so people can see it because people will love you as much as I love you. That's how they're referencing it. Because they're seeing you as like this light and they're like fun and 
vibrant and they want you to see the world like that but they also want people to see you like that they want people to see these aspects of you that maybe you felt like you've had to hide and i feel like also they're walking you through um activate in those parts because maybe people have in the past projected onto you and caused you to hide them away um and i feel like this pet's here to bring them out that's why they're almost like showing up in the physical trying to do little things in the physical to get your attention um because even when you look here with the knight of cups the horse is in the background um but the person's just sitting here with like the roses and you've got like this little picnic thing here so it's almost like being vulnerable and allowing yourself to be seen and i feel like this pet is walking with you to do that you know especially if it's a pet that requires you to like head out of your home like if this is a horse that you have in like a nearby stable you know um or it could be like not even just like a pet pet but like an animal out in the wilderness that you go and see you're coming out of your home or again it could be a dog that you have to walk a lot um that's that's another thing that or it could be a cat that you've got to go looking for sometimes and check where they are <laughs> um but yeah that's kind of how this animal is coming through because it's almost like i'm bringing you out um physically of the family home but they're wanting people to see you the way that they see you um because i'm being shown ariel when from the live action movie um and sebastian's like under the sea she, he's singing the song under the sea and he's trying to explain to ariel like under the sea is so much fun but um ariel obviously wants to go somewhere else but there's this feeling that this pet's almost like you don't have to morph into x y and z or you don't have to be like what they told you to be like or you don't have to be what they projected onto you like when you're at home and you're this this is perfect like you should show this version of yourself outward like you should shine this version of yourself outward because it's like under the sea like this is part of you like you need to sh you need to show this so i don't know if maybe you can act with spirit at home or you have like a certain way that you live or there's a certain way you like to dress um but they're like you should show this this is a part of you you know you shouldn't be scared to do that um that's something that's coming through um especially if there's aspects of yourself that maybe you're not ready to bring out um and it could be even to do with like sexuality and things like that it's like this pad's like in your own time of course um but know that this is a beautiful part of you that should be shared um and they're referencing that as well it's really really beautiful um really really beautiful they feel like your cheerleader i feel like they send you energetically like good vibes as well um very intuitive it's a male energy though i mean they don't have to be it could be just like a feminine being with strong masculine traits um but that's how that there's almost like a male energy coming through um from this pet it doesn't have to be but that that's kind of how it's coming through pile number four messages from pile number four's pets please we have the wasp spirit sometimes life stings pile number Four, please for guides we have the vulture spirit nothing is wasted and one more card please messages from pile number four's pets please for guides we have the stag spirit take the lead yeah they're wanting you to like show up as like the boss like take up space put that uh crown on your head like they want that for you you know um sometimes life stings i feel like i feel like people have projected onto you and i feel like you've tried sometimes maybe in the past to or maybe you used to be very open and vulnerable with things and people have almost projected onto you or had you want to hide them or attacked you for it and you've wanted to hide them um and that's where they're coming through and 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 reference in that and i feel like they're helping you transmute that and clear that and with nothing is wasted it's like you went through that but they're almost referencing silver lining like now you're stepping into your empowerment it's like they're activating they're helping and walking with you while you step into your empowerment and this time you know not to take whatever it is that people may project onto you um as your truth 
the projection is not your perception because um it's like there's wisdom gained you know that maybe they're going through something and maybe you're aligning or activating parts of yourself that they've been told to shun and that's why they're trying to shun it in you so now you have that wisdom sorry for the creaky bed guys now you have that wisdom so with nothing is wasted it's like that wasn't wasted because now you've learned now you've learned and now nobody can knock you off that pedestal and they're ha almost helping you step into that again and when take the lead it's like let's let's go like let's go let's um that's the thing i want to break free you know like i want to break free i want to um i want you to break out of the shell that's kind of how they're referencing this pile number like you, they're referencing you're not somebody that can tamed in your that can be tamed in your true nature you are somebody that is meant to break free you are somebody that's meant to be like that you're meant to be the wild card and that that embodying it because it's like this is you this is you at your core this is how you're meant to be you know um pile number and then i just dropped some cards pile number four messages from pile number four's pets Ooh. and then the card just fell on the floor two seconds i need to go grab it Sorry guys, I just knocked the stand. Let me just get comfortable. We have the octopus cards come out a lot in this uh, in this reading. Practice shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms. I feel like it's the other way for you. I feel like people might have projected and maybe you did alter the way that you came across. Are you altered the way that you dressed? Are you altered the way that you felt would keep you safe or what other people would have liked and i feel like you're learning to take off those layers and stand in your own truth which can be scary when it's your first time doing it i feel like it's a journey you've been on um we have penguin the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing and the back of the deck we have the elk stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve yeah it's like i'm standing my ground and putting my foot down this is me you know a song from the greatest show man this is me that's what that's what i'm here and it's like this is me this is who i am i'm not gonna like put on a mask um or put on a cloak just because you want me to um you feel better when i'm like that like no this is me um and all of my quirks and parts of myself like they're me you know um as i'm here and again all of me by mirabelle from encanto like you have so much to offer you're such a gift your pet really is like it's just like pure love like adoring you um but that's why they're wanting you to stand in who you are because with the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now past and i feel like you've been removing other people's projections that have been placed on you and i feel like they're melting away and i feel like this pet has been walking you through that and like there's almost this excited feeling like you're about to burst you're about to put something out there you're about to fully stand in your truth without those projections and there's a feeling of that and pride coming through and i feel like they're walking with you through this journey um which is really really beautiful i think this was definitely part of their mission to walk with you through this which is really beautiful um you know that song and it's like wouldn't it be nice if we could something i can't remember the I, all i know is there's like a meme of adam sandler singing it wouldn't it be nice if we could i don't know the rest of the lyrics but i'm hearing that i don't know what the significance is there but it's coming through um i don't know if this this pack gives you like really sloppy kisses there's a feeling <laughs> like i'm getting one of those i feel like i'm getting one um even if they're here in the spirit in the spirit like it's like i'm still giving you those by the way um but yeah so much love and adoration for you um and walking with you they want people to see you as like the superstar that they see you as yeah so powerful that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed the reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching